G'day guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another review. Um, I picked up a new Clone Wars figure on the weekend. Um, pretty much one of the last ones I need for this year, really. As far as I know, as far as I can think anyway. It is Clone Commander Fox. Um, really happy to finally find this guy. I've heard reports for a while that he has hit. Um, yeah, finally found him in a um, toy shop in the city. And... Fortunately, they're a bit expensive there. Um, there's only a couple more left in the city in my home city, so um, there's one in town, one not too close, uh, one not too far away from home, and one a bit further away. Um, and unfortunately, the figures are twenty dollars each. But considering I haven't seen it, I just thought, bugger it, I'll get it anyway. So here I have. I've modified it ever so slightly, but. Um, for the most part, this figure is a complete repaint of the um, Captain Rex with a different helmet, with a brand new helmet. Um, brand new in the sense that it is just a sort of repainted, retooled version of um, Commander Cody. Because this one isn't removable, it's just a straight helmet, but it is pretty much the same sculpt um, for the most part. But the paint apps is and and the coloring of this figure is what makes it stand out um, the articulation we all know what it's like it's not good so but for the look of the figure he just he looks really cool so I just really like the paint work um, I don't have the packaging I think I've already chucked it out if not it's I just can't see it I may have thrown it out already I do ever have the do however have the card you can see there, it's still in the plastic bag, but um, when I say I've done a little bit of customising, let me just zoom up on it to focus a little bit better. You can see under the mouth of the helmet, I mean that's not the best job, but that wasn't actually painted white, that was just red all over, and as you can see from the card, that wasn't accurate, because you can see the white paint just under his the mouth of the helmet so I have just sort of painted that over it it needs a little bit of a tidy up but um, yeah I'll get to that another time when I find a little bit more time so for the most part it does look better than it did um, more accurate but like I said it just needs to tidy it up a little bit but not too bad for the rest of the figure, the paint apps are just are really well done, really nice and tidy. No sort of, oh, there are slight little, slight little mispainted areas, but nothing too drastic. He just looks really cool. I really like the red. Um, yeah, he just looks really cool. Um, in terms of accessories, he does come with the blasters that he's holding. Uh, they're pretty cool. They do. Um, we've seen them with multiple figures. They came with Captain Rex as well, and the most recent Captain Wolf, uh, Commander Wolf, sorry. And we've seen them before in all the other clones in the past. So nothing new in terms of the guns. But there's a bit of a close-up look if you're interested. So nothing too special there. But he does hold them well, so that's the main thing. Articulation wise, he has a ball jointed head, ball in shoulders and elbows, um, swivel waist and swivel hips. So yeah, not all that great, but I don't really care because he just looks really cool. Um, so yeah, uh, the symbol on his arm there is just uh, part of the Coruscant, Coruscant Guard, I believe. Um, looks really well done. I mean, from what I understand, they're all sort of printed on with by computer now. They're obviously not hand done. They're not stickers. They're all sort of printed on via computer programs and painting programs and yada yada yada. So, um, yeah, really nice and tidy there. So, done a really good job with the paintwork. So, uh, there's the uh, head close up of the head a bit more. As you can see where I've sort of painted it's a little bit sloppy. I just need to sort of tidy up the edges, um, and then I think it'll look just fine so As you can see on the back there he's also got room for a jetpack you could plug in there if you like but that's just part of the straight repack um, repainted sort of mold they're using at the moment as well as the Karma 
sort of red edges around the sort of seams I guess and he's got his red legs and then the bottom of them's white so not a lot to rave about so this is going to make it pretty quick but um yeah if you're a big clone fan which uh, I'm not a huge clone fan I'm starting to get back into them um, thanks to a few other people on YouTube you know who you are um yeah but this guy he just the look of him sets himself apart from just your average white clones and yeah just sets himself apart enough to warrant the purchase in my opinion so yeah if you can find him definitely grab him um he's a cool looking figure for display purposes unfortunately you can't get him in those dynamic poses which is disappointing but eh, i'm over it i've just put too much energy into complaining and I've just learnt to live with it so yeah it's a cool clone it's a cool clone figure so it is clone commander fox hope you've enjoyed this review guys and I'm hoping to get a couple of items in the post this week um, I bought them probably close to 10 days ago so they shouldn't be too far away coming from the US uh, if you follow me on Facebook you will know what I'm talking about so hopefully I get them soon Alright guys, enjoy the rest of your week, um, or the next few days, hopefully I'll have I'll be able to review those figures and hopefully I'll get them to, hope, hope, yeah, yeah, <laughs> tongue twister, hopefully I'll get them soon, that's what I'm trying to say. Alright, sorry guys for that bit of a blunder there, but um, yeah, speak to you all soon guys, may the force be with you.